Okay, so I just had this color out, Rose Gold Goddess, to put on another cup, and I decided I wanted to do another ombre wine tumbler using that in the Pure Plum. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. It's another one of this shaped wine tumbler. So I'm going to start with my darker color on the base, just kind of at that curve. here. I'm hoping that this one will take full coverage on one coat, but I don't know. It's the same spray paint as the last one, so it might reject it a little bit. But I'm going to set that in my holder for a second because I'm going to try and keep my glitter a little under control. a sheet of paper for the next color and this one I'm gonna do at the top and this isn't just a rose gold this has like a holographic of some sort in it I believe so it has a whole variety of color that plays throughout it may even have an opal in it of some sort I'm not sure All I know is it's really, really pretty. And since I had another wine tumbler prepped, I figured, why not? Why not? In fact. So I'm going to start going high. That looks more silver on camera, but it is really rose gold, I promise. I'm going to scoop that up. Grab this one back. And I'm going to come back in with the plum. And this is the part where I might start mixing a little glitter. So I will put it aside. Come up high. Sometimes the shakers give me good control and sometimes I just lose it. And sometimes, as I've been known to do, I just open the wrong side of the shaker altogether. So, there's always that. Just kind of letting some water fall down.
Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Just gonna tap off any excess. I feel like I might be bleeding through my epoxy just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna get a little bit more. Double check that bottom as well. All right, so there she is. I have no idea what's going on yet, but I will think on it. I will get a flood coat on this in a bit and I will be back. Okay, so I have all my decals cut for this. Uh, this is not the original direction I was headed with this tumbler at all. Um, and weeding this bun decal at this size uh, has been a nightmare, so I'm going to try and weed some more of the hair out once it's in place on the cup because I just can't do it the way it is. So I'm going to put it on this side. I decided that since I used similar colors. I wanted to kind of mimic the um, regular tumbler I've done with this decal. So, um, I'm not going to make you watch me do this because it's still really hard to see. But I'm going to come back in and find all those little pieces. Or at least... A good amount of them. It's just easier to get the small ones back once they're on a cup sometimes. So we'll call it reverse weeding, weeding in place, whatever. That's how I'm gonna have to finish this one. So I will do the rest of this part off camera. Um, I did change the saying on this one from mom life to wine life. So I'm gonna put that underneath here. Hopefully somewhat straight. So there's that. And then I have all of my little leopard spots that I cut in the HTV Rant Rose Gold. And I am going to try to um, do these at kind of an angle around the cup. So. That piece is too far out. I don't want it to start that wide. That's why I'm pulling those pieces back off. So I think I'm going to start under her and this is why I hand place these or do these in sections on a tapered cup. Somebody had asked about that last time, and this is precisely why. It's just sometimes easier. And I can see a little bit of the white tumbler on the bottom there. It's okay. So I'm just going to kind of section this in and then fill by hand wherever I still feel I need more.
But I won't make you watch all of that either. So that's to the top there. And I think I might do another small section here. Just because I have the space for it. Trying to get this at a good angle for me to see the angle. Might as well sparkle the crap out of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in and I will bring, and I'm going to finish weeding this and I will bring it back once it's done. Okay, I'm going to bring this up so you can see it. I am ready to get my resin on it. I have my strip of decals there. I got her pretty well weeded. I can still see a few spots, but I'm not even going to worry about it. There's my big stripe and my bottom so there you go and i'm gonna just get a coat of resin on Wait. that was messy but It'll be okay. Just gonna make sure it's smoothed out, get the rim really good. So, there you go. The Wine life answer to my mom life leopard cup. I don't know why these colors just scream this decal to me. This was absolutely not what I intended. I already had a different decal caught and here we are. So that is it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.